All right, what's good YouTube? It's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill here at Caesars Palace. I've actually never been here before. I'm pretty excited to check it out, so let's go and get some grub. All right, guys, so we just got seated here at Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill, and you know, this is actually my first time eating here. Now, typically, if I come to the Caesars Palace and I'm thinking Gordon Ramsay, I'm going to Hell's Kitchen, I've walked by the Pub and Grill a bunch of times in my past. I just, I don't know, I never made it in here. Now, I am glad I'm eating here today. If you haven't heard, Gordon Ramsay is opening his sixth restaurant at the Harrah's later this year. It's gonna be called Ramsay's Kitchen. And in celebration, I'm gonna be reviewing all of his restaurants. If you haven't checked out my Hell's Kitchen review, I'll go ahead and link that right above. Now, getting seated here at Gordon Ramsay, this does have a cool pub feel to it. You've got the kegs on the wall, all that British decor, and obviously a full service bar. Now the menu looks relatively straightforward, let me give you a look. On the back of the menu, they've got the signature cocktails and draft beers. It is a school night for me, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, not do too much on the drinking tonight. But this does all look pretty good. And a wine list down here. Looking pretty good. All right guys, so you know, it is a school night. I've got a pretty early morning with work, so unfortunately I'm not gonna be doing too much drinking. Just gonna go in on this Pepsi tonight. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the menu. Now the Pub and Grill is open from 3 to 11 p.m. daily. Let's take a look at these appetizers first. Maple glazed bacon, that's always nice. Shrimp cocktail, oysters, spinach and artichoke chip. Ooh, those nachos sound pretty good. Lobster and shrimp rolls and what looks like a charcuterie board, nice. And we got some soup and salads here. Oh, I love onion soup. I think that might be something I'm gonna try tonight. Greens and grains, classic Caesar and the big bird. You got a three course dinner here. Looks very similar to something you might see over at the Hell's Kitchen. You've got your appetizer and then a roasted beef wellington. And then that sticky toffee pudding, nice. Coming over here to the oak fire section, we've got that filet mignon, the strip steak and a pub burger. All sounds really good. And then under the classic section, we've got roasted beef wellington, a prime rib, ooh, prime rib. Am I in the mood for prime rib tonight? I might be getting prime rib tonight. All right, seared scallops, fish and chips, salmon, tikka masala. Oh, do you have tikka masala here? That's interesting. Short rib and cabbage, nice. Looking down here at the sides, we've got the lobster mac and cheese, cream mushrooms, oh, that sounds good. Mashed potatoes, oh, this all looks so good, you guys. And then the dessert, of course, it's not gonna be a Gordon Ramsay restaurant without the sticky toffee pudding. Apple pie blondie and a chocolate brownie. Gosh, I've got a lot to think about, you guys. So here's kind of the thing. If I come to Caesars to eat Gordon Ramsay food again, I'm typically gonna be going to Hell's Kitchen. And if I go to Hell's Kitchen, usually I get the prefix menu. I think it's actually a great value for a celebrity chef meal. I just actually had the Beef Wellington recently when I made that Hell's Kitchen video, so I'm not really in the mood for that. If I go to Gordon Ramsay's steak, typically I'm getting the ribeye or the ribeye cap. So in that regard, the prime rib actually sounds really good. I've never had a prime rib from a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. I think that's the play today. All right guys, so here's what it's gonna be. The onion soup, the prime rib, along with some of those cream mushrooms. I cannot wait, this sounds so good. I'll be right back when that onion soup arrives. All right guys, my onion and ale soup just arrived and oh my God, the smell is heavenly. The color of this soup is just perfect. That super deep brown. You love to see how caramelized those onions are. The cheese, I believe this is Gruyere cheese. Oh, and that cheesy crouton crust. Ooh, that cheese pull though. The Gruyere cheese just oozing and that cheese pull looks amazing guys i can't wait anymore let's give it a try oh man oh man that onion soup is so good i am telling you guys the depth of flavor on this soup is unreal the stock is just so fortified with so many herbs and spices and vegetables. 
the sweetness of the onion is captured perfectly in this soup. The soup on its own is phenomenal, but then you throw in just a little bit of that crouton with that cheese, ultimately delivering a nice, light, smooth texture along with the rest of that soup. They did not cut any corners at all. They took their time, they caramelized the onions properly. It's so soft and retain so much of its great flavor. All right, now let's keep it real. $16 for a cup of soup is a little high, but man, when it is executed this well, it's actually pretty easy to stomach the price. I'm gonna smash the rest of the soup. I'll see you guys when the prime rib arrives. All right, guys, so my prime rib just arrived and oh man, this is looking pretty good. Nice thick cut, looks like a proper medium rare to me. Alongside it, you have this ultra fluffy looking Yorkshire pudding. Oh, and you can just see the way it glistens. They use some kind of nice beef tallow or shortening in the pans to make this Yorkshire pudding. So something that they just got in last week and they told me about were these cream mushrooms. Cremini mushrooms in a porcini cream along with some Gruyere cheese. This looks so good. All right guys, let's go ahead and give it a try. This is my first bite of Gordon Ramsay's prime rib here at the Pub and Grill. It's got a great color to it. Fork super tender. Let's give it a try. Mm. You know, that's a pretty solid prime rib. It's nice and tender, real juicy. Seasoned well, nice crust on the outside. And then this center cut beef just melts in your mouth. I would say this is actually pretty good. Now I'll keep it 100% real with you guys. This is not the best prime rib I've had in Las Vegas, but I'm definitely not offended by it at all. Let's go and try dipping it into some au jus here. Nice. And give it a taste. Mm. Oh man. That might be some of the most potent au jus I've ever had. The drippings have been captured perfectly here, you guys. The flavor is so deep. You can tell they didn't waste any pan drippings, no fond left behind. This is a killer au jus, you guys. Wow, this would make even a mediocre prime rib taste really good. Let's also go and try with a little bit of horseradish. Let's give this one a taste. It's a pretty decent horseradish. It has some kick to it, but man, it does not even compare to the elevation of the au jus here, you guys. This au jus is gonna be going on every bite. All right, next up, let's try a bite of the Yorkshire pudding. Now, I love the way that this Yorkshire pudding is fluffed up. And you can tell on the inside, it's so fluffy and airy, wow. All right, let's go ahead and give it a bite on its own. Ooh, that's a nice Yorkshire pudding, you guys. Buttery, great texture on the outside. You can tell they used a nice hot pan to make sure that that initial reaction got this crust onto the Yorkshire pudding. Really light and airy on the inside here, you guys. I mean, you guys, it'd be an embarrassment for Gordon Ramsay not to have a good Yorkshire pudding recipe, right? Now, the beautiful thing about Yorkshire pudding is how well it soaks up the flavors of anything else it touches. And you know with how much I've been praising the au jus, this next bite is about to be phenomenal. Delicious. Being dunked into an au jus like this has to be fulfilling for a Yorkshire pudding. All right guys, so far I'd say the prime rib is pretty solid. The Yorkshire pudding, really good. That au jus out of this world. But next up, we're gonna go ahead and try these creamed mushrooms. Now, color-wise, it kind of reminds me of a cream of mushroom soup. They're ultra soft on my fork. Let's give it a try. Those mushrooms are delicious. Take the best cream of mushroom soup you've ever had in your entire life amp it up to 11 and that's what this side is the mushrooms ultra soft super tender but this porcini cream has the depth of flavor of the mariana's trench you can go so deep here you guys it's creamy it's luxurious the flavors have been so intensified by the reduction of this cream sauce 
There's a nice earthiness that comes along with that cream. And then that Gruyere cheese adding just a little bit of additional richness. Wow. This might be my favorite creamed mushroom of all time. I don't know if I've had it better than this. All right, guys, I gotta tell you, I'm really enjoying my dinner here tonight. Prime rib, solid. The Yorkshire pudding, really great. But the au jus and these creamed mushrooms just knock it out of the park. Now, it's pretty late on a school night. I probably shouldn't be eating this heavy, but it's so good. I don't think I'm gonna be stopping myself. Hopefully, I leave a little bit of room for dessert, though. It's a coin toss. I'll see you guys in a little bit in case that happens. All right guys, so I finished up with my prime rib. Man, it was nice and filling, really delicious. But I don't even know how this happened. I did my Yelp check-in to get in on a free sticky toffee pudding. And I guess because it's near the end of the night and they're closing up, they just brought me one of every dessert they have available. Isn't this rad? I mean, you guys, look at this. They gave me the sticky toffee pudding. They gave me the apple pie blondie. And they gave me the chocolate brownie, you guys. This is wild. Maybe I should start trying to come more at closing. This is crazy. All right, guys, I guess there's nothing to it but to do it. Let's go ahead and give these three desserts a try. This is wild. All right, first up is gonna be the sticky toffee pudding, the classic. I've definitely had this dessert many times before, but every time is still a treat. Definitely one of my favorites in the world. Let's go in. Mm. Chef Ramsay, how do you do it? It's so good. Melts in your mouth, so soft, so sweet. I genuinely love this dessert, you guys. I love that I'm having it for free today. All right, next up, let's go ahead and try this apple pie blondie. It's got an orange cream gelato on it. You could tell with this nice orange slice on top. This is a beautiful dessert. I almost hate to cut it up. Smells absolutely delicious though. Let's give it a try. Dear Lord, that is so good. Now the apple blondie portion of it reminds me very much of an apple fritter. You got a little bit of cinnamon, great apple flavor, but this orange cream gelato, you guys, it's the perfect complement. The citrus cuts through the richness of the pie, delivering a really smooth and creamy flavor. It's actually the first thing you taste is this super smooth orange creamsicle-like flavor. And then it starts to change as the apple blondie flavor starts to take over. And man, guys, now typically you say you wouldn't compare apples and oranges, but maybe you have to combine them instead. This is magic. All right, it suddenly went super bright in here. I don't know what's going on with the lighting, but I don't know, maybe it's to highlight this next dessert, which is the brownie. Now this one's topped with a peanut butter gelato along with some chocolate pretzels. Peanut butter and chocolate is a match made in heaven. I love Reese's, one of my favorite candies for sure. Let's go in on this peanut butter and chocolate brownie. Oh man. That's really good. Now instantly, that brownie is super chocolatey. The brownie is nice and soft, but definitely has a little bit of body to it. There's a lot of chocolate here. That peanut butter ice cream is just magic. You know a lot of peanut butter ice creams I've had in the past have always been a little chunky, and the texture hasn't been very smooth. But the peanut butter gelato on this dessert is like silk, just so creamy. Oh man, you guys, all three of these desserts are really great. I don't think you can go wrong choosing any of them, but the surprise of the night for me was definitely that apple pie blondie. Oh my God, it was so good. That orange gelato on top of that apple pie blondie, just a match made in heaven. Alrighty guys, I think they got the lighting back to normal as I'm finishing up. I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I hope you enjoyed my review of Gordon Ramsay's Pub and Grill here at Caesars Palace. The surprises for me tonight were definitely that creamed mushroom along with that apple pie blondie. Both were such home runs, you guys. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would love for more people to see it. 
And if you enjoy content like this here in Las Vegas, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of great videos coming your way. And that's all for this one. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed Vegas with me, Shin. Bye.